What up guys? About to go out, get some lunch, and meet up with Sam. Maybe ride a little bit. Oh look at that beautiful bike. You're so sexy. Have been riding, I mean we got a lot of a lot of rain in the last couple days, so haven't really had much of an opportunity to enjoy my bike. Or take it out and get pictures now that I have the wheel stripes on there. A little cold start action for you guys. I mean, I understand cold starts on some cars, but like, I don't really get it on a motorcycle. I don't think it's all that special to hear a bike warm up. It's a little loud, but it ain't all that special. Well, I'm gonna let the bike warm up, guys. I gotta stop and get some gas, and then I'll pick up with you guys in just a little bit. That popping in that flame. Welcome back to the vlog. It's your boy Pacey from the Merlin and Me a YouTube channel. And uh, today we're going to go ahead and answer some questions from Instagram. And uh, I don't really have a whole lot of Instagram followers, guys. So if you want to, man, go ahead to Instagram and follow me at Merlin and Me. And uh, you'll be able to get in on the next round of questions. I think I only have like three or four people actually respond. Like I said, man, I don't have a whole lot of followers on Instagram. I think I got like, I don't know, less than 350. So no, not, not a whole lot, man. I got more subscribers on YouTube than I got Instagram followers, which is honestly kind of surprising. I think I take pretty good pics of the bikes, man, especially just using a phone. I do pretty good. So if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and head over to the Instagram, follow your boy. But today we're going to be talking about, I chose two subjects. That's like, what kind of bike is that? Is that an FZ? Or is that an FZ? It is. It's an FZ. Is it? What is that? What's up, Ducati homie? Oh, Jesus. I hit a bump. That was a little unjarring. Or a little jarring. Unnerving? Yeah, that's right. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so after waving that guy, Ducati hit a big bump and it kind of scared me a little bit because I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. So that's, uh... Not a good thing to do while you're on a motorcycle, but the uh, the two things that we will be talking about today are potato chips in proper pooping position. You heard me right. Proper pooping position, because that's very important. But first, let's talk about potato chips, and I don't know why they wanted me to talk about potato chips. Don't get me wrong, I like potato chips just as much as the next guy. I guess, you know, we could talk about favorite potato chips and sucky potato chips. But you know, I like to try new chips all the time, man. Right now, I gotta be honest with you guys, there's there's two like, well, one of them I guess is more of a cracker than a chip, but I'll talk about it anyway. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy right now, something that's new that's out that I've been uh, indulging in lately, are the, I think they're Lay's, they're called Poppables. They're like these like 3D, like, uh, you know, they remind me of like, um, what was that cereal back in the day? Honeycomb, it reminds me of Honeycomb, but like 3D, I guess. No, that doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like, I don't know. I'll put a picture up on the screen. Poppables. Uh, they only come in a couple of flavors, but I like the cheese flavor. You know, it's like regular cheese potato chips, but they got a little more crunch. They're kind of airy. I don't know. I think they're pretty tasty. Have you guys tried those? Let me know down below what you think of them. Um, the other thing I really like right now, um, it's a Ritz. It's like a cracker chip, but they come in this like smoked, smoky uh, chipotle flavor, which I really enjoy. I like spicy things, so the, the uh, smoky chipotle is pretty good. I like that. That's what I've been eating lately is the poppables and that. But, I mean, if we're going to talk about, like, you know, regular potato chips and, like, the old school faves and whatnot like that, I would honestly say that my taste of potato chips have changed a lot over the years. For example, like, as a kid, as a kid, like, my favorite, my favorite kind of potato chips were, uh, this is sound kind of weird because I don't like french fries, but they're, they're called caps. Caps, uh, bacon cheddar fries, and they had like uh, hot fries too, like 
And they were pretty freaking tasty, man. I remember going on road trips as a kid and your parents, you know, they stop at the store and you get like snacks and stuff. But I really enjoyed those Caps bacon cheddar fries when I was young, man. Those were the shit. I used to eat them things all the time. That and uh, Funyuns. I really enjoyed Funyuns as a kid. Damn onion chips, man. They're freaking delicious. I still like Funyuns. And I still like Caps uh, bacon cheddar fries, but I do not indulge in them nearly as often. Uh, but those are my favorites when I was a kid. You know, when you're a teenager, you're into like the, you know, the popular stuff. Like I remember Cool Ranch Doritos being real big. Uh, but you know, there was a while there in the 90s where they were trying crazy shit with chips. Um, they were doing like those 3D Doritos that were disgusting and a bunch of other stuff, man. Like all kinds of crazy chips back in the day. I can't remember name brands or the names of the chips, but like, you know, you have your staples, you have your ethnic chips, like your taquitos and things like that. Um, I don't know if it's really considered a chip. I think a lot of people consider it a chip, but I like uh, chicharrones. Uh, for y'all that don't know what that is, that's a pork rind. Uh, it's fried pork skin, usually seasoned. I like the hot ones. Uh, the spicy flavored pork rinds, I guess, but I don't know, man. You guys let me know down uh, in the comments below what your favorite chip is. And if there's anything that's like crazy out right now you think I should try and you want me to, you know, let you know what I think, let me know down there too because I'm always down to try new things and I'm not always, you know, looking for new stuff at the store and stuff like that. So if you see something I should be trying, man, let me know. Potato chips. I put why though, like I responded to his question, I was like, why? Dude, are you eating potato chips right now? And that's just like the first thing that came to your mind to put on there was potato chips. Which if that's the truth, that's okay. Oh, hey doggy. Hi. Oh, you're so handsome. Oh, you're so pretty. Look at this dog, yo. Hey doggy. You want to go for a ride? <laughs> what the Fuck, man. Bitch. I am running out of room here. scary man that truck pulling out like that I was like what the fuck she was uh she thought somebody was coming into her lane so she whipped out I am mad at her she she reacted you know a little poorly but it is what it is what is the hold up motherfuckers all right guys so yeah we talked about potato chips I told you what my faves were right now and of course, everybody loves the classics, you know, like Lay's Thin Potato Chips, and some people like Ruffles. Like, my dad's a big fan of the Ruffle Chips, because they're good for dip. And everybody likes dip, right? Chips and dip is good. But we didn't talk about dip, we talked about chips, man. Tell me what your chip is. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know what your chip is. I might try it if I ain't tried it before. And the, uh, the second thing I was asked to talk about was uh, proper pooping position. Now this can be a little interesting of a conversation here we could have because there's all kinds of stuff out now that's going back and talking about like how human beings are supposed to use the bathroom, proper pooping and all things. You got like these squatty potties and all this other nonsense. I can't see on the other side of you, homie. I'm going. So yeah, you got the squatty potty thing out, which I have actually had the opportunity to sit on a toilet with the squatty potty and take a poop. And uh, to be honest with you, it, uh, it, it's easier. It really is easier to poop on that. Like it, it's, uh, it feels like the whole intestine to asshole train is like a straight shot when you use that thing. So proper pooping position, man. I'm like, don't worry, I ain't judging you if you ain't got a squatty potty. But I've never really had an issue pooping. Like it's never been. Uh, and I've never had a hard time pooping. You know, was, you know, sometimes you get constipated, but like, as far as like, you know, on the daily, I think I poop pretty good even without the squatty potty. You know, I don't have issues. I don't feel like there's a lot of, uh, you know, room to improve on proper pooping position. That's a weird subject to talk about. But yeah, the experts say that we should be, you know, like back in the day, you'd pretty much put your back on a tree and squat down and poop right there. But 
that puts you in the proper pooping position that our bodies are actually designed for to poop in if designed is the right word I don't know I guess the way we uh, evolved to poop was uh, putting our backs against trees it really kind of makes you wonder how slow evolution works if we haven't evolved to poop on a bucket or a toilet by now because human beings have been pooping in receptacles for thousands of years you figure we our uh, our colons would maybe move a little bit to make that a little easier for us so we wouldn't have to buy you know forty dollar plastic stools to put our feet on while we poop to give ourselves the proper position but that's just my opinion maybe we should just make toilets lower to the ground but then it would be harder for people who are like handicapped and or older that need assistance getting up off the toilet you know the further you are down the harder it is to stand up so I don't know guys maybe we should start a group of uh, petitioning against all the toilet makers in the United States to make toilets shorter so we don't have to buy squatty potties to poop right you know would be also really cool like if you were sitting on the toilet right and depending on you know if you're a girl you're just peeing or you got a poop or whatever having like legs that like come up kind of like a recliner but it just puts your feet up high enough like the squatty potty like it's built into the toilet but it could be like power you know it could be one of those really expensive toilets that people buy I mean think about it you know if you're gonna buy a toilet and you're like I'm gonna get a bidet you might as well get like a built-in like recliner squatty potty type thing going on to put your asshole in the right position so you you poop even easier at that point right I mean if you're gonna spend the money on a toilet that's the kind of toilet you should buy I'm just saying I mean it's an investment how many times a day do you poop I poop like three times a day bitch it's green go I poop three times a day typically sometimes two but usually three I usually poop uh, I'd say 20 30 minutes after I eat a big meal or a regular sized meal not really big I don't eat big meals but like when you eat a meal when I eat a meal like 30 minutes later your boy needs to uh, drop the kids off at the pool take the Browns to the Super Bowl you know 2,000 flush is blue that shit don't last that long for me 2,000 flushes ain't a lot when you're pooping three times a day anyway guys so yeah let me know what you guys think if you tried the squatty potty thing and you guys play around with your pooping position has anybody ever sat on a toilet backwards to take a poop you know like you sit on it the opposite way so we're like if you're a guy your balls are facing the uh the tank and not the uh, front of the toilet i did that once when i was a kid i remember it clearly and it was a mistake i don't recommend you try that the toilet is not designed to be pooped in that way it's gonna make it really hard to clean the toilet because like typically like the front of the toilet is going to have your little poop stains on it in the back back of the toilet and typically the toilet shape is uh designed for flushing a certain way i guess to clean off the back of that toilet but it just doesn't work all the time if you turn around and poop that is if you turn around and you poop backwards in the toilet you're going to be you're going to have shit stains on the front of the toilet because the toilet is not designed to like wash that shit away so don't do that take my word for it but yeah guys let me know what you guys think uh what's your proper po pooping position proper pooping position and how many times a day do you poop that's a weird question to ask but since we're on that subject i want to know if i'm weird or not if i poop excessively or like i've heard girls say that they poop like every other day like they don't poop that often but i think they're just full of shit you know pooping is natural girls come on now don't hide your poops from us guys talk about poop all the time we're not afraid of your poop if you poop three times a day that's great that's great that means you got a healthy re uh digestive system if you're pooping like once every three days four days i'm sorry but you are not eating healthy you are not your body is not healthy if you're pooping every four days that's just weird I, and i've lived with a lot of girls man i lived with a lot of women as roommates as you know significant others and whatnot and girls are always like that man they like to hide when they poop like if i get up like we're watching a tv show and i'm sitting with a girl i'll be like i'm gonna go poop they'll just get up and disappear for 20 minutes they don't tell you that they're going to poop for some reason it's still taboo i don't understand that it's 2018 we can talk about poop right right you just ran that red light motherfucker oh i love that sound it's so good so potato chips and proper pooping position i'm sure we could combine those into a really disgusting conversation topic Please don't do that, asshole. Don't squirt me with your shit. But no, like, uh, when you eat potato chips, is your poop any different? The only time I find that my poop is different from when I eat something specific is when I eat cereal. Like, uh, colorful cereal. If I eat Fruit Loops, 
Like my poop will be really bright green because of all the dye that's in that shit. Well, in that cereal, not in the shit. Well, I guess the dye is in the shit at the end. I'm not really sure how that works. I'm not a doctor, I don't know. Send me some potato chips, guys. I'll eat them shits. Even though I don't have a P.O. box that's listed for you guys. So, don't send me any potato chips yet. But, uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, guys. You guys can see those questions and all the photos and shit that I take of the bikes and whatnot. And Merlin and all that stuff. So, if you want more content, Instagram is the place to be. I don't do shit on Facebook, so don't even bother following me there unless you really, really, really want to. Every once in a while, I'll post something there when they tell me to. I'll get like uh, messages saying, hey, your account's going to be deactivated if you don't do shit to it. So I'm like, okay, I'll do shit to it. That's fine. Getting kind of sick and tired of being behind this truck. It needs to break all the damn time. Oh, but yeah, man. Pooping properly is important. Potato chips, not so much, but everybody likes chips, right? I don't like uh, English chips. I'm not a big fan of French fries, but I like crunchy potato chips. I don't like kettle cooked chips. They're too crunchy. And I poop three times a day. And I don't have issues, so I don't really think I need a squatty potty. But if I have one, I might use it. I don't know. That's my, that's my opinion on it. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you think it's weird, hit the dislike button. And if you want to tell me how you poop or what kind of chips you eat, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you want to, follow me on my Instagram. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Deuces! Man, that might be like the weirdest moto vlogging topic. I don't do a lot of topics, but that's definitely the weirdest one I've ever done. Potato chips and proper pooping position. That's crazy. It's weird. It's a little weird. I got some weirdo followers, man.